everybody, welcome back to the Jurassic Collectibles YouTube channel. Today you're joining me, Tom, and I'm really, really excited because we are going to be taking a look, at last, at the Doctor Collector Jurassic World Deluxe Kit. So this kit has been around for a while, it was an exclusive in Spain for about a period of a year, so in 2018, but at the start of 2019, they have finally found a way to find retailers here in the UK, in the US, they've got a really good distribution chain. I think it's actually just the UK at the moment, but they're working on the US. So they're really planning on getting these products out to people. So I know you're probably wondering, what is the deluxe kit? Well, it is a assortment of different memorabilia and merchandise themed around screen accurate Jurassic World props. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can see up here, we've got that beautiful collector's box sign. We've then, if we come across here, got the Welcome to the Park, the beautiful Jurassic World logo, and then also this really nice claw mark here before we've got the deluxe kit just there. So as you can see, very nice professional looking packaging. And if I just grab it and we twist it over, you can see, there we go, on the back, some of the accessories included. So if we head up here, just refocus. The blurb and the description is in Spanish because it's a Spanish company, but you can see we've got the gyrosphere, the aquarium, the aviary, and then the underground area of the Mosasaur Arena. And then we also have a look at the products included. So we've got these really cool Jurassic World signs. We've got a replica park ticket, postcards, a guide to the dinosaurs, I think that might be a coin. We've also got, I'm going to try and focus a little bit better, there we go. A lanyard, an electric fence sign, some patches, one of the snap bands, and then also a brochure and park map. So there's a lot of really, really cool screen accurate Jurassic World accessories included in this pack. And as you can see here at the side, we do have the Universal logo. So this is a really, really nice pack. Dr. Collector have actually officially licensed this product with Universal so they can use all of the on-screen reference material, everything else, to create a really, really high-quality merchandise collection for fans. So we've taken a little bit of a look at some of the contents of the box. If I just reposition that there, we'll twist it back over. And without any further ado, I imagine you guys want to see what is inside this thing. So we will open it up and take a look at each of the individual replicas included in the deluxe kit. One really nice thing to note is this product is themed to be in-universe. So it's the kind of kit that you might get given when you arrive at the park with a VIP pass. So here you can see, once we remove the back of the box, which is just a paper insert inside the foil, we do actually have a themed Jurassic World box, which looks at the gyrosphere tour, the aquarium, T-Rex kingdom, the aviary, and the underwater observatory. It also mentions, and this won't pick up on camera, but it does look at the hatchery, meet Mr. DNA, and the three day family pass. So a really, really cool box that is themed around Jurassic World and really welcoming you to the park. So it feels really nice, really in-universe and really canonical and I really, really like that. Okay, and then this is what you see when we open up the box. If we take a closer look, you can see this beautiful Jurassic World graphic. We've got a lanyard in there, another sign, um, some other bits and pieces. The park ticket up there, if I just focus on that for a second. So some really, really cool stuff in this box. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to open all of this up. Um, some bits do come in protective packaging, and I'm probably going to leave them in that and just take a look at them. But we're going to take each individual item out, take a look at it, see what it's got going for it, and go from there. Okay, so first up we have got the Jurassic World Snap Band. This is probably most iconically seen worn by Grey and also Zack in the film. I'm just going to bring the light down onto that a little bit more. There we go, that's a little bit better. And you can see this looks absolutely beautiful. If I grab it, we can actually roll it all the way out like you would expect with a snap band. 
looks really really good it's really firm really rigid actually which is nice to see really kind of you know solid material and on the back we do have a Jurassic World and copyright Universal Studios and Amblin Entertainment Inc and then you just have got a little point on either end which lets you snap it and if we snap it back up for you you can see rolls up really nicely and it's a pretty large piece so I imagine this will fit on most size wrists so really really nice if we bring it a little bit closer Jurassic World T-Rex logo looks absolutely fantastic and very recognisable from on screen as well so a really nice starting piece for the box and we'll now move on to the next item Okay, so next up we've got the Jurassic World branded lanyard and also the visitor pass. Looking at the visitor pass first of all, quite simplistic, looks good. Yellow, you've got the blues, the whites, um, we yeah, add not much more to say, nice pattern on the back. And then on the side, you've just got a little information. You are required to wear this pass uh, in a prominent position at all times. This pass remains the property of Jurassic Park slash Isla Nublar Inc. and must be surrendered to an authorised representative upon request. And then you've got the Jurassic World Universal and Amblin copyright at the bottom. So a nice pass. I don't know why my hand is shaking so much holding it. You've got the QR code at the top. Pretty cool. The only unfortunate thing is this is made of cardboard. So other um, non-licensed replicas have been made of plastic, which has been a little bit more resilient. But you can see this is made of cardboard, and because of that, when you, if we focus on that, string it through, you do get a little bit of tear there, which is unfortunate, especially if you're planning on keeping this crisp. Now the lanyard itself, if we take a quick look, it's really nice, screen accurate again. It's got that funky style Jurassic World text, looks great. Really nice colour blue as well, and we do, on the inside, just have the copyright information as seen on all of the other um, products in this box. But it is really, really nice, again, just touching on this again briefly, as we reposition this, that all of these products are officially licensed, because they look fantastic, and really are quite accurate to what we see on screen. Okay, and then after that, with my little Tupperware box coming in handy, we do have this nice little Jurassic World three-day pass. $750 for an adult. We entered at $852. And you can see the little scan code there. Really nice artwork on the back of this. Uh, it's got the Brachiosaurs, the Gyrospheres, the Mountains, the Stegosaurus. Um, actually, I think that's the Ankylosaurus. Looks fantastic. Then on the back... The Jurassic World logo. Upon arrival at Isla Nublar, present this ticket to acquire your Jurassic Scan Band, which is required at all attractions and venues. Your purchase includes transportation from Costa Rica to Isla Nublar via ferry, three nights at our five-star Isla Nublar resort, one tournament to golf, free admissions to select 60 experience show-ins, 25% discount, all food and merchandise. It's so a nice little badge, again you probably saw at the bottom there the copyright information. Um, it's just a nice little inclusion, my only downside and my only issue is they do stick this onto the box inside so you can see there, there's a little bit of a mark. Now, if you're not a perfectionist you're not going to be bothered, but I am a little bit of one so it does bother me somewhat. But still, if I balance that back on there, a nice inclusion to the pack nonetheless. Okay, and then one of the more bizarre additions is this Jurassic World coin. So if we just focus there, you can see we've got the T-Rex coming through the gates with the JW, the copyright information at the bottom, and on the other side we have just got the T-Rex uh, logo. So I'm not entirely sure if this appears in the film at all. If it does, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. But it's just a really nice collectible piece included nonetheless. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the work that Smart Arts Gallery, who are now rebranded to Fnatic, and uh, the kind of products they've done with the collectible coins. Looks really nice, feels good, printing is crisp on it, and it's got a nice pattern. Not much more I can say, but a nice little inclusion. And then next we've got this absolutely beautiful Isla Lu Nublar Lagoon uh, sticker. If I just zoom us out a little bit. 
you can see home of the Mosasaurus, the image of the Mosasaur going for the shark, really nice font for the lagoon as well, Isla Nublar, the Jurassic World logo. And this is, as you can see, a sticker, quite high quality, very, if we can get some light glossy, as you can see, looks really, really good. I won't be peeling this off, but if you're somebody who's into stickers, you've got a collection, then this includes some really nice ones that I think you'll appreciate. And then following on from that, we have got this beautiful electrified fence sticker. This has seen lots of different forms. I think a plastic one was included in Loot Crate, but you can see we've got the Velociraptor, do not touch fence, electrified fence throughout the park, warning, and the little Jurassic World logo in white. Now I believe this is a sticker. It looks like it's been peeled somewhat in this corner here, as you can see. So I'm not going to be taking it off, like I've said. But again, beautiful. You can see really nice gloss to it. Looks absolutely fantastic. And to be honest, might be useful for some of my Mattel pictures as well. So I'm quite excited for those. And keeping with the theme of stickers, since we have got a lot in this set, we have got this genetically altered DNA Jurassic World 99.7% pure sticker. Quite a nice design, really crisp. I like the black and white, looks fantastic. And again, you know, the kind of sticker you would see somewhere like Universal Studios where you get really in-universe branded merchandise. If Jurassic World was a real place, I could easily see them selling stuff like this. So I think in that respect, this is a very, very successful product. And then last, we've got this generic, nice-looking Jurassic World sticker. Very, very glossy again, which is great. You can see really nice patterning throughout. Captures the logo perfectly. And I know a few of you may be thinking this doesn't make sense to be in an in-universe box set. But actually it does, because if you think about it in the real world, anything that's got a logo, those logos really end up slapped on T-shirts and other things. So this really does make sense being part of the box, and it looks quite good. And next up we've got this Guide to the Dinosaurs of Jurassic World, you can see blue on the front. It is in Spanish because obviously this is a Spanish product, so I'm not going to spend too long looking through it. But you can see we do get a lot of the nice Jurassic World graphics inside. So things like the Triceratops, the Stegosaurus, as you can see again very glossy as well, reflects the light well. We'll hold it like that. The Patasaurus and lots of other creatures. It's quite a thick booklet, some interesting information and really, you know, designed for fans in Spain who I think will really, really enjoy this booklet. And then we have this beautiful little greetings from Jurassic World Isla Nublar postcard. If I bring it in, you can see the logo, pteranodons in the sky, claw marks, Isla Nublar. Looks really good. And on the back, we've got Stamp here with the T-Rex in front of the Innovation Centre and greetings from Jurassic World. As you can see there, looks absolutely fantastic. So a really nice little in-universe postcard which I think is a great addition to the pack. And then next we do have the Jurassic World brochure. You can see I've positioned it against the backdrop because it is rather large. If we open it up a little bit, you can see some of the experiences like Gentle Giant's Petting Zoo, Mosasaurus Feeding Show, we've got Creatures of Jurassic all listed there, you've got the Bracelet Scan Band now open, Underwater Observatory, some more of the attractions on the side there, and then if we twist the other side you've got Creation Lab, Sea Life Recreated and I really like the graphic for that, that is beautiful got again creatures of Jurassic front cover and then this does of course fold open I'm going to be very careful with this to reveal if we zoom out a little bit the map of Isla Nublar so you can see we've got this really beautiful accurate map it's got information on the risks if we focus on that certain rides the lagoon itself then zooming up a little bit you can see we have got absolutely beautiful attention to detail across the map, including Mount Saibo up in the top there. And then this folds down really, really nicely, compresses itself really easily. You can see I did that all with one hand. 
And we have then got our little Jurassic World park brochure back in one piece. Really, really nice replica. I actually own another one of these because somebody made a non-official one that I purchased. And um, between that and this, you can definitely feel the quality with this. It's a really high quality, shiny um, card material that's used for it. It's got some little tears and creases in the corners. But then again, you would get that with something that you're carrying around a park all day. So it kind of adds to the authenticity a little bit. And overall, feels really, really nice really accurate and really high quality. Okay, and the last thing we get is this beautiful fictional Jurassic World uh, license plate. It's made out of a very thin sheet metal. If I twist it around, you can see the metal on the back and the engraved areas. And if we twist it back around to the front, stand it back up for you and just zoom in a little bit. You can see we've got this beautiful crisp Jurassic World logo on a white border. We've then got the 12, I think it's INCR, don't know what that stands for, if somebody knows let me know, but it says Isla Nublar underneath, so it could be an abbreviation for Nublar, but you can see this is Vehicle 12 on Isla Nublar Jurassic World, and it looks absolutely fantastic. And you've got points where you could string it through if you wanted to hang it up on something, or um, potentially hang it over a license plate for a display. So it looks really, really good, really high quality, really, you know, nice metal i was worried i was going to knock the set over then um and it is a fantastic piece to really end this review on okay so taking one final look at everything that came in the box if we zoom in and go from side to side you can see we have got some absolutely beautiful prop replicas in this box everything looks phenomenal i really like that electric fence sign the snap band the coin was cool the brochure, some of the items you can see here, especially that Jurassic World ticket, all are really, really nice. So, my overall review on this pack, I think you get a lot of really, really cool stuff here, considering this pack retails for £34.99. Some of it, like this visitor badge, could perhaps be better quality, but for the price point, there is a lot of attention to detail and a lot of really, really cool replicas packed in here. Particular standouts for me are the lanyard, the snap band, the coin, the brochure, the postcard and the um, the licence plate. There we go, I couldn't think of that for a second. I'm not a big fan of stickers personally, so I'm a little bit upset that they ate up so much of the pack, but I can see why they did. Um, some of them, again, very, very glossy. Things like the ticket, the visitor pass, feel a little bit cheap. They're mainly just made of, like, card. Um, but, you know, I can appreciate that there is a lot in this for £35. Some of the components here probably ate into the budget a lot, particularly the, um, license plate, the snap band, the lanyard. So, really, for £35, you do get a lot of good stuff here. If you're a casual collector, then I don't think you're necessarily going to want this box. But if you are a massive fan of Jurassic World, then I think that this will really, really appeal to you. And you'll really want some of the prop replicas included here. Um, there is also a Jurassic Park box, which retails for £34.99 as well. I believe uh, Jurassic Collectibles himself will be reviewing that one for you guys. If not, I'll have a chat with him, see if we can get one to him to review for you guys. But in the meantime, you know, for a Jurassic World box, it's pretty cool. I like it, and I'm happy to have some of these things in my collection. However, guys, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think this is good value? Could it have done with some more items? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you want to see more content from Jurassic Collectibles. And guys, last thing from me, as always, I hope you take care, and you have a fantastic week.